Well, hey everybody, welcome. We're gonna talk about our song patches, our intro and lead patches, and our underscoring patches today. Um, and what I, what I first wanna do is show you kind of where they're located, and then we'll play through a couple examples so you can get an idea as to how you can use them in a worship set. So over on the left side, what you're gonna see is there are three white folders. One is called song patches. And when you click this open, you're gonna see all the different names of the patches that we've already created for you that you can use within your sets. The second one is the intro and lead patches. These patches have very specific lead sounds that you can use as you're doing those intro sections or those outro sections on the songs that you're doing. And the last one is located here at the bottom called underscoring. This particular set of patches is really designed for you to do extended prayer or baptisms, anything that has you doing, um, you know, three, four, five minutes, 10 minutes of, of just underscoring behind pastors. Uh, maybe you're, you're highlighting a moment on um, a baptism, something like that, that just gives you some extended um, time to play with. That's a patch I would go to. So let's go to our set list. I've actually already dropped in three different um, patches from, one from each of these. So I dropped in a intro lead patch, renamed it UR. I'll play that and you can hear an, an example of what a lead patch might sound like. So let's start with that. Okay, so that's an example of a really large lead opening sound that you might have to cover. That's not what you're gonna be playing during the verses and the choruses, but it's something you're gonna to need to be able to get to whenever you gotta cover those um, intros and outros. So that's an example of a patch you can use and throw in there to cover those big moments. Um, these, these patches can be toggled back and forth between. So if you need to cover them multiple times in a song, just go from the lead part to the song part and then back to the lead part and that'll get you covering both the uh, lead sections as well as the other parts of the song. Now let's listen to a song specific patch. So a song specific patch is designed to most closely match what you hear on the record or on the song. So let me give you an example of what that might sound like if you were covering the song Beautiful Jesus. So here's, here's a patch that we created um, to really kind of cover that intro synth sound that you hear. I don't think the song would be given justice if we were just playing it on a piano, so we want to make sure we more accurately represented what that song sounded like. So let's listen to it. Right, so a lot of synth stuff. So that song needs synths, it doesn't need keyboards or pianos really the the characteristic part of that song is that synth intro so that's why we created that song specific patch to give you the exact soundscape that you need to replicate that all right so the next uh patch is i labeled it as baptism so the way i label things on my sets is what and where i'm going to be doing these things so you know i'm a, on the first uh, patch here it's it's a lead right so I know it's a lead it's for a specific song the second one it's a it's a full song patch but this is more of just an underscoring moment during a time of baptism so that kind of reminds me when I'm supposed to be playing this um, so let me give you an example of how you might take a patch like this and use it to change soundscape over a large period of time so the way these types of patches are designed is often each layer is a completely different type of instrument or a different sound, and you layer them together to create tension. So layer one on this one is a piano, layer two is a worship pad, layer three is uh, another pad, layer four is a bass sound, layer five is a pulse sound, and layer six is another pad. So we've got some, some options with pads. We can pull them in and out. We've got some layers that we can work with. We have a bass, a pulse, a piano. So lots, lots there for us to create a lot of sound. Uh, the way I think of it is, hey, I'm an orchestrator. I'm pulling um, different instruments in, pulling instruments out, really just to create a, um, a difference in texture um, that might help me emphasize the moment that's going in on stage. Let's listen to what that might sound like.
All right, so that's an example of how you can get different textures all from the same patch. Um, you're getting highs and lows. Um, and the idea behind there is really just to build that tension and that uh, emotion that is going to really fit best with what you're trying to cover. So I hope that gave you a really good overview of how you can use the pre-built patches in your worship sets. And I am always here for you guys if you have any questions about how to create your own. So have a great day. Thanks.